Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. We have a relationship with the Creator. And it's more than just a relationship, it's a romance. The relationship we have with the Creator is likened to husband and wife. And when Moses, when the Torah was given to, 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 to our nation, to the Jewish people on Mount Sinai, we as a whole became married to the Creator. The whole nation of Israel is one entity. And it's considered the bride of Hashem. Each one of us, when we perform a mitzvah, we're able to tap into this by, by having the proper focus, by having the recognition while doing a mitzvah, while doing a performing commandment, by recognizing that we are now fulfilling the will of the Creator, and we are expressing our love for Him throughout through this action. And to understand this greater, we can understand in, in our own experience, when a person as a young child... You know, when you're with a young, beautiful um, child and you feel their pure, how pure they are, their purity, and everything they say, and especially when, when a child does something nice for, for another child, when a child gives like a kiss to another child, it's a beautiful thing, it's such, a, such an adorable, such a pure, such, a, such an amazing moment, because what, what makes it so amazing is because this child is so pure, he's so innocent, so beautiful, he or she, and when they perform such a kind act, it's such a, it's a much more, it's a much more um, awesome, you know, it causes a lot more awe, it's a lot more overwhelmingly beautiful than if it was just to be, you know, a middle-aged person to, to kiss a child or something. When another child kisses a child, it's much more, um, of course, a person becomes much more um, excited by this, much more shocked by it. Also, when a child speaks words of Torah, we know the power of when children speak words of Torah. Why is it so beautiful compared to, you know, if an adult speaks words of Torah? Because for the child, it's, much, it's a much greater step. It's much more impressive. It's much more out of the norm. It's much more above his pay grade and much, much more above his expectations, so to speak, when the, his or her child, when this child speaks uh, words of Torah, holy words, because it's expected that the adults can speak words of Torah. It's, of course, still impressive, but when the child speaks it, it's much more impressive. So, so too, if we can imagine how much this impresses us to see a child do something pure, especially if it's if it's your own child or a child you're close to, you feel a tremendous love, a tremendous attachment to this child. So we can use this by way of example to really come to appreciate the joy and pleasure we cause Hashem when we perform a mitzvah. The pleasure we arouse within Hashem to cling to, to attach himself to us. Of course, Hashem's everywhere. But he wants us to make the first move. And when we offer Hashem, when we make that first move towards Hashem, when we do a mitzvah, and especially when we do a mitzvah with the recognition that this is causing a tremendous love, a tremendous excitement within Hashem towards us, tremendous attraction towards us, Hashem develops an attraction towards us from us performing this mitzvah. Of course, he always has an attachment towards us, an attraction to us. But when we perform a mitzvah, especially with this focus, it arouses, it draws down even greater attraction towards us. It reveals it, so to speak. It's always there, but it, it reveals it. So we can imagine, we can come to appreciate, we can come to, to perform mitzvahs for a much greater reason. Of course, we know that when we learn Torah and we do mitzvahs, we make the world a greater place and we increase our own chokhmah bin adas and we refine ourselves. When we learn Torah, we become much more intelligent, of course, and we become more, more gifted. You know, we become more intellectually um, advanced and we refine our character traits and we become more more refined people that's great and all but but that's not the ultimate purpose the ultimate purpose is because Hashem asked us to do this and this is what Hashem wants so when we ha when we do a mitzvah not because I'm going to become greater but because it's going to make Hashem feel better so to speak that's the highest way to perform a mitzvah because Hashem wants it to be done. Not that I get to do it and I'm becoming great. No, Hashem wants it to be done, so it will be done. That's the highest level. And then you also, you don't miss out on any of those benefits that we spoke of earlier. We're saying that to help make this more clear, we don't learn Torah to become more intelligent. We don't perform mitzvahs to, bring, to become holier and become stronger, so to speak. We, perform, we do all these things because Hashem, because Hashem asked us to do this. And when we perform it, it causes Hashem the greatest pleasure. An infinitely greater pleasure than a, than, than a physical example of a human being seeing a child doing something beautiful. When we perform a mitzvah for Hashem's sake, it causes Hashem an infinitely greater pleasure than that. So we can understand from this example where it's clear that, wow, a person who sees a child, a beautiful child, like doing a, a, a kind act, a graceful act, whatever it may, may be, a, a child singing to Hashem. It's a beautiful thing. You feel the holiness. But 
what we're experiencing is only a drop of it. Imagine what Hashem experiences from us singing to Him, performing a mitzvah to Him. So we can use these examples to always, as the Rebbe Shab explains, catapult ourselves up and saying, wow, if I see a child doing something so beautiful like this and it causes me so much excitement, imagine how much excitement I cause Hashem when I do something because I, my understanding is limited. But Hashem's perspective is beyond infinite. And therefore, that's the highest level, to perform a commandment, to perform one of Hashem's commandments because He told us to do it and it causes Him pleasure. And then, I not only do I also get the intelligence that the Torah gives me, it refines me, I become, more, I, become more, I become smarter, I become able, my understanding grows. These all also come as well. I'm not, I'm not learning Torah to become smart. I'm learning Torah because Hashem told me to. But I will also reach a higher intellectual level. That's also a, a, Baruch Hashem, a positive result of the Torah. And that's a holy level. The point is to refine the body, to refine the intelligence, to refine the character traits, to be happy. Of course, these are all the purposes of, part of the purpose of Torah. But the highest level of service of Hashem is because He told me to do it and I'm going to do it for Him. Because that's the deepest level of dedication to Hashem. If it's all about me becoming smarter, then okay, maybe if I don't find the subject so smart, what, so I'm not going to learn it? No. Whatever Hashem tells me to do, I'll do it. Because He told me to do it, not because it benefits me. I'm doing it because Hashem told me. And Baruch Hashem, it also happens to benefit me because out of Hashem's kindness, He allows the Torah to actually cause benefits within each and every one of us. And of course, if you're not Jewish, this applies to you in the sense that you are fulfilling your purpose of creation by keeping the seven laws of Noah and sp spreading them with others and to know about Hashem's oneness, to have a relationship with Hashem. Hashem wants a relationship with the righteous Gentiles. That's a clear sign of the coming Mashiach. That when we say the Mashiach will be the king, it's not just the king of the nation of Israel, it's the king of the world. The Mashiach will reveal Hashem to the entire world. That's why the prophecies all include the Gentiles praising Hashem. The whole purpose is that the Gentiles will be involved and will also want a relationship with Hashem. That's the true... Um, demonstration that Mashiach is here, that we're approaching the days of Mashiach, that the Gentiles, the righteous Gentiles are interested in getting close to Hashem, because that's a necessary point. So it's very important that you recognize that if you're a righteous Gentile, by you connecting to Hashem, you, through the seven laws of Noah, and spreading in all the details, and, and connecting with others, you are fulfilling your purpose, and that's the purpose of your creation. And Hashem is extremely interested in the Gentiles being involved with Him. That's why the, 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 the Lubavitcher Rebbe puts such a big emphasis, saying, how do we bring Mashiach? We have to talk about the coming of Mashiach, prepare the world by speaking about the days of Mashiach, and also by the by spreading the seven laws of Noah to the Gentiles. The Rebbe puts such a, a strong emphasis on spreading the laws of Noah, the seven Noahide laws to the gen, righteous Gentiles. The Rebbe said that this is how you bring Mashiach, so it's clear that a necessary part, an extremely pivotal part of bringing Mashiach is that we bring the, the Gentiles to, to, to come to know Hashem and bring them and get them involved in having their relationship with Hashem, that we all have a relationship with Hashem, Jew or Gentile, we all have a purpose, we all have to, we all have one God, and that's the most important part of all. So when we recognize, we use physical examples, when a person does a kind act towards you, when you feel a love towards them, if someone goes out of their way and they do something just out of the goodness of their heart for you, it causes you a pleasure. You feel a love towards this person. So too, we can imagine the love that Hashem feels towards us when we do something for Him. And He feels a love much greater than any love we can ever imagine. So I can be happy. This causes me a joy because I'm making Hashem happy. I'm feeling a love towards Hashem and I want to cause Him to feel love towards me. And when I'm doing a mitzvah, because it causes Hashem joy, not because it will cause me anything, but because it causes Hashem joy, then I can reach the true, truly the greatest joy within myself as well. Because what do I really want? What do we really want? What does our soul really want? To make Hashem happy. So when I'm serving Hashem just to make Hashem happy, that's truly when we're most happy. So when we live with this and we recognize this and we really meditate upon the love that Hashem has for us, a romantic love, like Hashem is really obsessed with us. When we, when, we, when we internalize this, we can channel this. And when we do a mitzvah, we have to take this, this mindset and channel it into action, into every mitzvah, every, to every act of charity, into every kind deed that we perform. And then we'll be able to refine the physical. We'll be able to bring the, this, this spiritual reality into the physical. It'll be fused as one. And we'll experience Hashem's revelation. In the days of Mashiach, may it be today. Hashem bless you. Please share this with others.